how do you keep the families of an ancient nomadic people from being torn apart and preserve their way of life? How can we protect the animals that share our planet when we understand so little of the secrets of their daily lives? How can the unique markings of elusive whale sharks be used to save them from extinction? How can the hornbill unite a tropical community and turn poachers into gamekeepers? And how can needlework in one of the remotest parts of India help thousands of women avoid poverty and revitalize their heritage. For more than 30 years, Rolex has honored dozens of special individuals whose unique spirit of enterprise has made a positive difference to the world we live in. These are the stories of the laureates of the 12th Rolex Awards for Enterprise. The magnificent hornbill has flown through the jungles of Thailand for centuries. It is perhaps the most extraordinary of all tropical birds, but it is under threat. When they fly, it make a noise like locomotive, Shh. very, very loud sound in the forest. This part of Thailand has suffered political turmoil and occasional violence. It is one of the more difficult environments in which to preserve any endangered species. Ten years ago, we thought that the rhinoceros hornbill had been extinct from Thailand. But then after we know that this species has been most poached, so that's why we came here, and uh, urgently we have to help them. Professor Pilai Poonswad is known as the great mother of hornbills. For nearly 30 years, she has risked her own safety to conserve these extraordinary birds. When I first came here in 1994, I was informed that there were terrorists living on Budo Mountain. I pay no attention to them. My concentration was on the poaching of hornbill. So I went to meet the poachers in person. Let's think of your family. If somebody sell your kid, you have no heir and then your family line will be gone. So the same as hornbill. And hornbill are important to regenerate the forest. Making the locals see that the survival of the hornbills was linked to the preservation of their forest was a key part of Pilai's project. Poaching hornbills used to be a way of life. Uma is a former poacher who sold each bird for $1,000, the equivalent of half many villagers' annual salary. Uma is one of Pilai's success stories. He joined me in 95, so I trained them how to build a hive. And then I tell them that our team never bring anything back, never bring any hornbill back. We just want only the data, the information from you. Now that Uma is a gamekeeper, he's able to use his detailed knowledge of the forest to guide Pilai to the increasingly rare hornbills. He is one of over 40 people from nine villages helping to monitor 176 nests of six different species of hornbills. 
Eli's team now realizes that the future of the hornbills is key to the survival of the forest itself. They feed off 80 different kinds of fruit, and along with monkeys who are also disappearing from the region, are crucial to the dispersal of seeds. Meal. What is the threat me about hornbill? First, the appearance and the uniqueness of their breeding. Using mud and regurgitated food, the female hornbill seals herself into the natural cavity of a tree. For three months, the male delivers food to the nest so the female can raise a single chick. The aim of the project, the first one is, of course, to conserve the hornbill flying around here. And secondly, regeneration of the forest. And thirdly, to become the center for the knowledge for local community. Pilai organizes training sessions like this one for young people to learn how to become junior guides so that they can educate visitors about the importance of the hornbill to the health of the forest. And we have also organized the hornbill family adoption. People from city come and visit their nest that they adopted. In this way, it's also a kind of instill pride to local people. <laughs> One of the main problems that Pilai faces is the erosion of the forest itself. More than half of Thailand's forests have disappeared. For now, Pilai has come up with an ingenious solution. We are installing the artificial nest box to provide more nest for hornbills. Bye. The artificial nest boxes have already attracted their first pair of hornbills. Her hope is that other villagers will become involved and that through the hornbill project, the Thai people will learn how to live in harmony with their forest. Because Hornbill cannot speak out, I would like to become their, their voice. We should talk for them. If it were me, myself, what should I feel? If my home is destroyed, taken away, you know, what will I feel?